Now, we're going to have throw a little fun into this. And we're going to start, before we get into quick six, let's just start with regular behind the backs. You know, the behind the back pass is something that we're seeing used more and more in the women's game. Um, you guys may, you may see it when you watch different college games that people are starting to throw behind the backs as passes or, sh- or shots. Definitely something that is worth working on. It's fun. Tell you the way to teach this. I'm going to, I'm going to talk through it. Is line up with your... We're going to talk for right-handed players. You're lining up with your left hip facing your partner. So left hip facing your partner. Left hand at the bottom of the stick. Place your left hand on your right hip. Grab the middle of the stick. We're stepping through towards those bounce backs, looking over my shoulder and pushing and pulling so it bounces off my bicep. So this is the basic way to go through and teach that. And as you get more comfortable with it, like you'll see these girls, they just roll through it. You know, it's not something that they think about anymore when they go. So you... Yeah, uh, sure. So again, lining up for right-handed players, left hip facing your teammate where you're passing, left hand to right hip. Grab the middle of your stick. Now, one thing you don't want to see is for the players to turn like this to pass, because if I throw here, it's going to go right there when I'm trying to throw here. So making sure your stick is in a line from where you're passing it. Okay, I step forward and I'm pushing and pulling and the ball's bouncing off of my bicep. Not the ball, the stick. I hope the ball's not bouncing off my bicep. Or then we failed. So from here, one of the other things I see a lot is this. And you all know when you try that, that's what you see. You either see the ball go this way because they're like, or it's here. You know, so that's the important part of extending the stick away from the person you're passing it to and dipping your shoulder and pushing and pulling. One point to emphasize as well, when you do behind the back passes, you need to look at the person you're passing it to. You know, that becomes a dangerous play um, as they get to different levels and they try to throw that again. Your level is going to depend a lot on, on when this does become dangerous. But looking at where you're going so you're aiming and have somebody to pass it to as opposed to making sure the ball's still in your stick. You know, we see that a lot too. The girls will be like... So these guys will do it pretty naturally, um, just coming through. And this is part of having fun with it. We're going to throw out a few things here that are going to be fun. Well, I think everything's fun. I should rephrase that. So now they'll add this into their... Well, let's go the other way. Let's go around the world. So then you can reverse it and they can pull across their body and flip it over. So around the world, I'm pretty sure your girls aren't going to run down the field and do this in a game. Maybe. If so, send us the video. Uh, But here they are. And what they're doing instead of coming this way is they're doing the same thing coming around their back this way. So what was done on this side is now coming and being done on this side. So these guys are going to put that into our routine that we just did. And we're going to go one right, one left, one off stick side, one off stick side, one behind the back, one around the world. And this is where things can become really fun um, for your girls. You'll have a lot of giggles. You'll have a lot of people laughing, probably because they'll get to the behind the back and they'll hit the person next to them. But you can watch as these guys go through it. And again, emphasizing good passes, good technique. Focusing on the ball, focusing on what you're doing. And it's not going to look this good this fast. You're looking at two of the best stick handlers in the world out here um, who do this all the time. Okay, now let's back up a little bit. Let's go to sidearms. 